Because that was either on Twitch's end or, uh, um, my end. But we'll see. So anyway, so this is our destination right here. This is where the next quest is. So we're just going to go across the bridge here. And then this is the last side quest for the DLC. Right over here. Point of interest discovered. Secret hideout. Archibald Excelsior's Secret Society of Super Science Psychics. Gorgon, a spacer's choice property. Halt, the passage is exclusive to members of the Secret Society of Super Science Sidekicks. To gain access to the Sacred Sanctum, you must prove you are a, a w true and worthy fan of the imitable, inestimable, incomparable Ace Exterminator Archibald Excelsior. Interested? Find us at the following locations and demonstrate your worth. By the marvelous mustache of Excelsior, Maurice Walton, Virgil Sharp, Bertie Sharp, Eustace Kim. Oh fuck, I just I just got an email that reminded me. Um Oh fuck, I yeah, I had two fights taking in inquiries and I just got reminded of them. Anyway, um Gorgon internal messaging system interface. It's not the best choice, it's the only choice. Uh, reminder, you must or company property, unauthorized, yeah, 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 okay, so. Gorgon's gone to hell and we don't expect it to come back, so the secret society of super science sidekicks are shipping out while there's still ships to uh, catch, and we're leaving our replica PET behind. I can't say it's what we wanted, not after all the shit we churned through to make it, but it's our fearless leader, the imitable Archibald Excelsior, would have asked it for us. Hi, Blade Master. Now, if you're reading this, that means you're a scavenger. Scavenging takes daring, gumption, and a dash of rank, reckless stupidity. Just the kind of qualities Archibald's been known to prize, and just the kind of person worthy of RPET, the best and only prototype pest extermination Terentian, Truncheon, in all of Halcyon. If you want it, friend, it's yours. As so long as you have rupees. All you gotta do is pass our test and prove yourself to be a true fan of Archibald Excelsior Ace Exterminator. Law speed and good luck. Okay. Find a clue. Your first clue is on the map. Um, wow, these are far away. Okay. So, Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll go back here, I guess. Yep, and that first one's over there. Hopefully right up here. Hmm. Oh, we can we can run up this pipe. Let me get on my shadow kicks. No, my shadow kicks. No. <clears throat> Where am I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Try this again. I have to assume we can run up that pipe. Here we go. Oh, what? Lame. 
Any okay, all right. I guess we have to get up here the proper way. I guess we'll just walk around until we find something. Until we find a way up there. I can't believe they wouldn't let you run up that pipe. Hmm. I've had smarter ideas. I'll be I'll be the first to admit that. Oh, I thought you died. Thanks, Viker. Thanks, Max. Okay, anyway. Gotta get up that fucking mountain somehow. Ah, here we go. Awesome. That wasn't too bad. <gasps> Have you had smarter ideas? Maybe. If somebody knows what they are, they should, like, let me know. Windows just got done with the virus scan. I don't imagine that knocked it offline, but... Well, this is downright unnavely. It, it definitely would have started its scan right around when the stream went off. what they're hiding? Oh, we should bring- we should go get Felix. Felix would love this. We call them marauders. Like they- When does Oops. a man become marauder? People talk about them as if they've transformed. Like they've mutated. I see it in the Aetherwave broadcasts. Read it in the papers. But beneath their masks, they're only people. Dangerous people with a terrible illness, but people still. When we call a man a marauder, have we given up on him? How do we Not know? Not a bad spot for a reading nook. Let's see if we can find one of those comics. Ellie, are you getting into this? Are you a fan of comics? I, up on Harvey? I, I didn't even know you could read. Serve, I wonder. Spacer's choice? Uh, can I fast travel up here? No, so... Yeah, well, let's, uh, just do this. A comic, uh, The Exhilarating Adventures of Archibald Excelsior, Ace Exterminator, and The Plague of Manty Men. Issue 1 of 4 in the comic from the cult classic Ace Exterminator, Exterminator series, tragically canceled after its brief four-issue run, scribbled in the felt tip on the comic's spl spine is the word speak. In the inaugural issue, newly minted hero Archibald Excelsior is dispatched to the cloud cities of Olympus to put down a plague of ravenous manty men intent on taking the cities for their own manty mastermind pits in his second in command. Oh, in, uh, for their own manty mastermind pits his second in command, renowned spindle knight Sisak Sassafras against Excelsior in hand-to-claw combat. Just when Excelsior appears to have bested his insectile foe with the help of his handy PET, his eye is caught by Isabella, Fame Fatale, not Femme Fatale, Fame Fatale, Manti Mastermind's da dancing queen. Will our, macho will our mustachioed hero survive his brush with this spindle knight and hit with love? A piece with the chemical <laughs> I have made my piece with the chemical waste pit. What a, what a fucking turnaround from the comic. Long, I think I refuse to be a freeze in the drags. The surface is distant to me. Distant is to cold stars. Distance you are in the rest of them. 
How do you fare, Maurice, up in the vaunted perch? Jeez. Uh, all glory to the PET, Eustace. Eustace bag. <gasps> Floating Sprat technology. We have the technology to make Sprat float. But not human. But floating Sprat can hold human. I can take a hint. Hands you a floating Sprat. Well, that's one. We might as well then go back and go get a... Here, to the interior. Nope. Go back and get Felix, because this is right up Felix's alley. What if he says, no, I don't like comics, actually? And he's like, because he, he watches all those shows. So maybe he would literally tell us, no, actually, I can't read. I don't know. Ellie seemed pretty into it. Proper serial adventure without a narrator. Here we go. How about this? Our intrepid heroes stepped foot on Gorgon, and in the distance, a drinking establishment beckoned. Yeah. Sprat. Uh, this looks like the closest one, so. Hopefully, we will not be surrounded by. Where are we? We're inside somewhere. Terminal, it says over there? Oh, okay, we are- How much you wanna bet she marked up her comic with sticky notes? No commentary, Felix? The exhilarating adventures of Archibald Excelsior, Ace Exterminator, and the Invasion of the Flesh-Eating Sprats, issue 3 of 4. Ah, oh, fuck, we missed an issue. A comic from the cult classic Ace Exterminator series, tragically cancelled after its brief four-issue run, scribbled in a fell tip, and, uh, and, uh, and, after pacifying the canid threat, rejuvenated hero Archibald Excelsior is deployed to the subterranean metro metropolis of Hefe- Hefe- Hephaestus <laughs> to quell the rise of super villainous acapella band the Sprat Pack when a new foe arrives to stop him. Buff Hardman, a Kojima character, acquisitions agents of super dark reclamation will stop at nothing to acquire Hephaestus Mining's productive corporate en enclave for his shadowy shipping concern. When Excelsior interferes with Hardman's plan to mind-control the Sprat Pack, Hardman turns his dastardly mind-controlled ray on Excelsior. Will our mustachioed hero free his mind from Hardman's power with his newly heated heart intact? Healed heart. So Felix really doesn't have any dialogue for any of this. Law damn it, Birdie, what I tell you about pestering Maurice. Mustache. Okay, this one's silly. Um He's not interested. If you scare him out the project, you're gone. I could care I don't care if you're my kid's sister. We need his research. We don't need you. Got it good. I take a look at the preliminary schedule you sent over. You got all the tasks tracked, but the timing's off for one thing. You have been finishing the met, uh, metal casings fabrication after the package is supposed to be completed. Find me at my workstation in the mines near OCI where you get off your shift. I'll go over the rest of my criticisms in person. By the mar mus by the marvelous mustache of Excelsior, Gil. P.S. How long do we have to keep saying that? It's ridiculous. Um, and that this is where the beginning. Uh, that's no, that's not where we started. We started here. Okay, so we literally have to walk all that way up. So let's go do this one then. Okay. 
And if Felix doesn't say anything about this one, I guess we'll go, like, go get Parvati. Nioka might have dialogue. I don't know. If I did this kind of thing, I would make it really obvious who you'd have to take. I wouldn't have thought Ellie, though. I would have just at least thought of Felix. Really gonna go digging around in a waste processing ravine? Yeah, of course we are. Well, that was just for the dial or for the area, but. Oop. I have high enough lock picking to where I can preview what's in it before uh, actually opening it. Just by weight, all I do is shake it around and I know exactly what's inside. Alright. After narrowly escaping the clutches of the nefarious Agent Buff Hardman, wounded hero Archibald Excelsior has a heart in turmoil, a broken PET, and no time to rest because an ancient colossus slumbering beneath the crust of the prison planet Tartarus arises and hungers for the flesh of thousands. As the Colossus lays waste in the maximum security penitentiary, Excelsior's nemesis, Hardman, returns to haunt him. Now, Excelsior must face down two devilish foes at once as lava encroaches on all sides. Excelsior's odds look grim until a chance lightning strike ignites the PET and gives the Ace Exterminator a fighting chance, while our mustachioed heroes slay the giant and finally mend his broken heart. And that's the end of the story. Um, uh, everything's down right. The chem lab. I know it's getting smelly. Oh, toxic and goo. Virtuous blessing. I prepared to revise schedule, outlining the remainder of the pack of the production style. Visit me when you're at the time. Office outside. I can't miss it. So, uh, I guess we'll get Pravardi. It's either Pravardi or Nioka. Or maybe it's just Ellie, I don't know. You could have two comment on it, so why not have two comment on it? Nioka just does not- Look at those stars! Don't it make you feel small in the best way? Nah, actually, it makes me feel small in the worst possible way. Alright, so just north of this place. I don't see Nioka having an inter in interesting comics. Oh, fuck, I wasn't looking. What? I thought I killed you! Good job, guys. Nobody died this time. Um, yes, to the right here. An ex near boss. Abandoned mines. Anyone else feel like the walls are almost leaning in? More near. Right behind you, Captain. Promise. All right. Pravardi, push. That's not put. Never mind. Little worried. Killing a marauder, that's one thing, but what already killed this thing? Oh. Um, just more of them, I guess. Good job, guys. Um, 
Almost there. What the hell is that? I guess we'll go over here first. Hmm. I hope those are the sound of sprats. It's not the sound of sprats. Good news, Gorgon. The sprats are dead. There's one. There's the one that's feasting. What she's- oh, she said we're pretty good at this. I thought she said some variation of goodness gracious. Gorgon, I crave violence. Gorgon, I'm hungry. So, all of these people in this super special sidekick club thing are probably, uh, marauders by now. Somehow, this is exactly the kind of place I'd picture a comic stash. Okay, I guess it's just Ellie. I don't know. After his- this is issue two. After his run-in with the Dancing Queen, proven hero Archibald Excelsior is mending his broken heart in the grizzly- gritzy city of Farview when a horde of vicious crystal canids escapes from the lab laboratory of an evil, unemployed scientist. Not unemployed. As the canids turn the city to ash with their plasma beam eyes, Excelsior descends into the depths of the lab to put down the leader of the pack, King Alpha. The king connives to sabotage Excelsior's trusty PET, and our hero is forced to fight with the only weapon in reach, the skull of King Alpha's own mother, Empress Crystalline Alpha. Will our mustachioed hero escape the king's jaws and heal his wound at art? Use this. The fumes aren't doing him any favors. We gotta get him out as soon as we can. How's your sister coming with the schedule? By the marvelous mustachio of Excelsior Murray's. P.S. You gotta tell Birdie to stop bringing me food. If I have to eat another damned can of Saltuna Filet, I'm gonna hurl. Oh, rip. That guy's dead. Well, um. One last time. Go get Felix. Because maybe he'll have different dialogue. Maybe everybody has dialogue when they, like, get in there. I don't know how the quests work. I'm just spitballing. I just want to hear Phil Phil Felix say something funny about comics. All right. <sighs> Enter true fan passphrase. One final task awaits thee, fair traveler. You must complete a test to prove your, b your bona fides. But do n uh, but worry not. It should be simple for a true ar a fan of Archibald Excelsior. Begin true fan quiz. Let's go. Oh man, let's fucking go. In issue number one, the plague of the Manti Men. What was the name of Manti Mastermind's second in command, whom Archibald defeated at Hand to Claw Comeback? Comeback. Combat. That was. That was, uh, Sassafras, right? That was in the first issue? It was the second in command. I think, I think Sassafras was the leader. Oh, but we're talking about Knight. Sorry, it was Sassafras. Correct! In issue two, Attack of the Crystal Can Canids, what improvised weapon did our illustrious hero, leader, Archibald Excelsior, you're used to exterminate King Alpha. A hairpin. 
gun. The skull of King Alpha's own mother. What, what do we call this in fucking grade school? Accelerated reading? The AR system? This is what we're answering questions for. In issue number three, Invasion of the Flesh-Eating Sprats, Agent Buff Hardman foiled Archibald's heroic plan to liberate the underground metropolis of Hephaestus from the Sprat Pack by doing what? Tracking him with his dastardly mind control ray. Breaking the dam. Uh, tracking Archibald with his dastardly mind control ray. Tricking. Sorry, not tracking. Tricking. In issue number four, the Colossus beneath Tartarus, how did Archibald ignite his signature weapon, the PET, and put it tit put the titular giant down for good? With a bolt of lightning from above. Passage is unbarred. Enter as a brother or sister, Birdie, or you are for you are now a certified genuine super science psychic. Congratulations. So what we get? Better not be a stack of comics. I have a. Okay, energy, ammo, drugs, water, ammo, ammo. Oh, there he is, Archibald Excelsior, Ace Exterminator and the Plague of Manty Men. He reminds me of Mermaid Man. Ooh, pick up the PET. Oh, it's a. Of course, it's a fucking weapon. They drink a lot for people that, uh. worship a dude who probably is in a lot of anti drinking ads. Alright, well, fine. I don't want that ammo anyway. So what, did that- that completed the quest? The PET, manufactured unknown. The lovingly handcrafted replica energy axe bears a striking resemblance to the pest extermination tool wielded by pulp legend Archibald Excelsior. With his famed PET in hand, the Imitable Excelsior exterminated a plague of manifest manti men, a horde of crystal canids, a pack of super villainous singing sprats, and a molten giant the size of a mountain. All while nursing a broken heart, only a true fan could have crafted such an improbable weapon. It only does 254 DPS. Oh, but it does have uh, bleed on it. Well, we'll save it. We'll get, take it back to the ship. Actually, isn't Felix using a melee weapon? Yeah, let's give it to him. There you go, Felix. Enjoy. Felix now carries the legacy of Archibald... whatever his last name was. It, it, it is Excelsior. Ace Exterminator Archibald Excelsior. A E A E. Get it? Anyway, all right, let's go kill her. And just set this to my quest then. Okay. Um. We're we're bringing Sam with us. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Sam and Nioka? Max? I don't think Max got a single line of dialogue. He was out, but he didn't say anything. <gasps> Exciting adventures! Archibald Excelsior, Ace Exterminator, and all four copies. Alright, Laz, let's get in let's get in there. Sorry, drinks. I can't do it. I can't hurt drinks like that. Come on, let's go, men. We best watch our step, Captain. She knows we're coming.
Oh, she forgot to lock the front fucking door. Yeah, I saw you. Oh, Max, out of the way. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, she's probably only got Max in here, so it's probably best to bring Sam. It's a good thing Sam can carry for, like, three companions. Guess we're going up. Yeah, she's kidding. She's she's not fooling anyone if she doesn't think I'm gonna raid the entire fucking manor. So where'd Minnie go, though? She's not here. Kind of, that is uh, kind of worrying. Rip. Bedroom key. This is a bedroom. Ah, uh, whatever. This is the room we were in before. Alright, she probably just went over here, then. go uh oh we gotta unlock elevator oh bunch of logs now like this doesn't tell us anything we didn't already know i guess i am assuming i have i'm not reading any of this if that wasn't obvious all right elevator unlock let's go Janitor. Hmm. Chefs. Logs. Pantry list. Rip. Damn it, man. Can't lock pick anything. All right, here we go. We are today, we are going to find out the power of the non disclosure agreement. I see they brought all the comforts of home including the secret lab for unlawful experiments. Muting volume now. Uh, 
Go. Yes, good. Distracting Sam. Sam, keep distracting them. They're tall. Jesus Christ. Did Sam just fall? No, Sam walked. If I don't get this stuff now, I'm never gonna get it. Oh, God damn it. That doesn't sound good. Good job, guys. Logs, security, maintenance. Too late. Why did we spend time unlocking that terminal? Hey guys, doesn't isn't Pokemon Snap was Pokemon Snap releasing tonight, Friday? Isn't that what Pop said? Isn't that what Pop said? I think Pop said that it was this Friday. So is it released right now? I thought it was another week on the thirtieth. That's right now. So it's out right now. I know what I'm doing after the stream. on the cringe coast. Cringe coast, best coast. No, cringe coast, best coast still works, actually. Just weird. I felt, would have felt there would be more hype, but you know what? I did want to go into it blind. So that's okay. a different room? It is. A workbench. God damn it. Recent messages. Violin's going hard as fuck. Uh, that all seems fine. All right, looks like- Didn't I warn you not to set foot in here until the job was done? You should have listened to my advice. Uh, no. Let's talk about this, Minnie. There's nothing to discuss. I can fix Adrena time without you, and certainly without Mother. Then there's no you need to kill me. You wasted your time coming here, and worse, you wasted mine. But I won't let anything stand in the way of progress. T 
to cure the marauders? What a silly suggestion. So what if you and your mom join forces to cure the marauders? Somehow. You surprise me, Captain. Once we fix the chemistry of Adrena time, the marauder problem will simply take care of itself. If you fix it, there's always the possibility you'll make it worse. The days of the old Adrena time are numbered, and marauders are bound for extinction. <laughs> Determination 70. I thought you wanted to help people, not let them die. Insane people addicted to drugs are mother's problem. Am I to be held accountable for her mess? Besides, That's literally what you're asking for! Ruin everything she touches. First Adrena time, then our family, and now my ambition! You're so selfish, fuck. So instead, you work with Spacer's Choice, who already failed this project once? You've been reading my terminal, haven't you? Oh, that's just infuriating. Correct. Spacer's Choice is only a means to an end. They have resources, I have a plan. And Mother isn't part of that plan. Mother never led me anywhere near R&D. I was always her incompetent little brat. She kept you away from Gorgon because she knew a drain of time was dangerous. And how would you know a thing like that? How would, how would you know it's dangerous? I read her terminal. She was trying to protect you. <sighs> protect me from what? A promising career? My own hopes and dreams? If Mother had let me get involved, Gorgon might have been a success. But she never believed in me. Not once. Your painting was in her office. She believed in your talent. She still does. She kept my painting? After all these years? Why? The office literally behind me, by the way. Oh no, we are talking about the different office, never mind. Uh... She watched you grow as an artist, not as a chemist or entrepreneur. She never mentioned it. Not once. Gorgon t tore you two apart, now Gorgon should bring you back together. Perhaps you're right. I was so eager to make Adrena time my legacy, to give it a second chance. But maybe it's my family that deserves. I told you guys, you always read no. every terminal. Read every I'm single saying, terminal. But if you see Mother, tell her I'm willing to work something out. She can even come over for tea. Or something stronger. I'm sure you won't mind if I remain here. Just to guarantee that you keep your side of the bargain. You're awfully paranoid, but that's what I like about you. If you're trying to charm me, this is neither the time nor the place. Sprats. It's funny, Captain. I hired you to break the family curse. And it would appear you've succeeded. Just not the way I intended. I'll speak with Olivia, be seeing you. Good luck with Mother. I suppose you'll need it. So... It might be possible to find a compromise between the two. I have to convince the other. What, so I gotta run all the way back? To Olivia? Ambrose intersection. This does imply there's a way to go back up outside of here, so let me see what happens. So they're standing down. Yeah, just let me let me go the easy way. Whoa. Sorry, the lighting and shading in this area is pretty nice. Where the fuck are we? Discreet cave. Yeah, that's a term for it. 
I swear to God. If I run into one more box that I can't unlock. Hopefully Olivia moved somewhere faster to get to, like the Sprat Shack. I thought that was a person. I'm so glad we spared drinks. I wish there was a quest to, like, recruit drinks or something. But just so you know, you're fired when I get back. Um, we don't need Sam anymore. I think we can settle this peacefully. Felix would not be the best for... Who, who are the, 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 the people that give me buffs for talking? It might be Neoka. Is that an Apex Mark V Queso Atmospheric Dome? I've never seen one in person. Magnificent. Loser. Who helps- who asked me, uh, shmoov? Shmoov talk. Smooth talk. Medical. Right, she is all- all about being a doctor. Hacking. Dialogue. Science. Hacking. Okay, so it's neither of these two. It might be Neoka. I have to assume one of these characters has a lot of charisma. Well, I can see all of them from this menu, can I? Yeah, I can. So I just want to see if any of them has like a charisma boost. Persuade. Increase your persuade skill with Phoenix and the party. Okay, so I guess, um, Felix is the one we're lying to. And Nioka lets us lie. Um, I don't want to lie, though. It, it is funny that I thought... Felix would be the last person I would bring into this. And Sam lets me intimidate. Okay, so we're gonna bring Sam and Felix, I guess. Yep, those are the two we we're looking for. I don't wanna lie, lying's not cool. Uh, wait, this is the wrong place. <gasps> Fuck. Maybe this is the right place. Because we're... Because this is where Olivia is? Oh, it must be. Where? Because that's where Olivia is waiting is at this point. Let's just not... Let's just go in. Uh oh. I keep my promises, Captain. Oh no. Do you know the funny thing about mercenaries? They exist in a nearly infinite supply. Oh, Great, now we gotta kill all of them to get to her. I guess it's a good thing we did bring Sam. Fun. 
So how the hell are we going to get down there? Okay, here we go. That worked out. I uh, gotta go lower. Stairs, huh? At least we're getting a good workout. That's one way to look at it. I have never consciously lied, which says a lot about the kind of person I am. I can be consciously wrong, but being consciously wrong is not the same thing as lying. Sam, I mean, Felix. Get him. You have the weapon of Archibald Excelsior. Where were we? Oh, right. People actually worked down here? It's not clear from the back base. It's just filing cabinets, papers everywhere. It's like a nightmare I had once. The nightmare for the person who can't read. Catch him is our real test. Just kidding, it's to actually take pictures of him. Olivia, get the fuck out here. God damn it. You know, we have like 50 stealth and I have to like disagree. I think we have a lot higher than 50 stealth. I think we're so, so, so stealthy the game cannot recognize how stealthy we exactly are. Was there not another door over here? No, there wasn't. Nope, this is the way. Stealth overflow and now you're loud as fuck. That would be a hilarious bug. I would design it so it could underflow, and that's how you would get max stealth. Oh, damn. Alright, good hit. Yeah, get him, Sam, get him. Yeah. 
that was fun. Oh, fuck. Thanks, Sam. I hope we're almost there. I really thought we would just be able to walk in. Sam, you don't have to. Sam. Alright, you know what? It's a little catchy. Olivia. We've come a long way. Let's finish this. I'm gonna die. I'll give you one thing, little weasel. You are relentless. I did everything in my power to stop you, yet here you stand before me, offensively alive. Just so we're clear, if you intend to restart this machine, you'll have to go through me. I won't. I'm here to make peace. You think that will fool me? I'll die before I let you have this place. <sighs> Minnie wants to work with you on a cure for the Marauders. <laughs> That's preposterous. Not too long ago, she wanted me dead. How do I know this isn't a trick to get me out of the way? What do you have to lose by hearing me out? Nothing but a few brain cells, I suppose. Your intentions are beside the point. I've been working on a cure for five years, and I've made no progress at all. If she believes teamwork is all I've been missing, she's more soft-headed than I thought. She said you were invited for tea? She... what? <laughs> That was our secret phrase. Did she tell you? Huh. Um... It, explain. When I'd been on Gorgon too long, that's what she'd write at the end of her messages. It meant she missed me. That she... She wanted me to come home. I mean, she mentioned something stronger, but... Um... So you'll work with Minnie? I'll try. It's no guarantee of success. And like as not, we'll develop nothing useful at all. But it will be better than working alone. Thank you, Captain. In the end, you were not at all what I expected. The funny thing was, you did not need the uh, persuasion at all. Um, as long as you talk to Minnie first. We talked to Minnie first, so we were able to get that. If we did not talk to Minnie first. And even then, yeah, the persuasion check on Minnie was a lot harder than Olivia's. So we actually could have gone to Olivia first and then back to Minnie if uh, otherwise. But if I didn't do that, I wasn't going to run away. 
I wasn't going to run back between them. I would have just finished it there. Alright, now let's head back to the manor and wrap this up. No, you won't. Okay. Yes, I am upside down drinks. Why are you upside down? To make uh, drinks feel better. More like, why are you not upside down drinks, huh? Get with the program. I expected them to be shooting each other in all honesty. Damn, they other related. Know, all those years ago, what tipped you off that Gorgon was in trouble? The volunteers. Not just the shocking way they died, but the company's muted response to it. They were expensive to house, train, and treat. That the company would spare no expense, yet let so many of them die. It was terrible. History won't repeat itself on our watch. I dare say not. Even when we made significant progress, Lawrence and his ghouls in OCI slashed our budgets. I knew then I'd lost control of Gorgon. I'd lost control of Adrena time. You never told me Gorgon was such a logistical nightmare. We should have had this conversation five years ago. You can't know how badly I wanted to. But the truth put you in danger. And I couldn't abide that. I owe you an apology, Captain. Not only did I deceive you, but all this time I had the wrong idea about Mother. Water under the bridge. You're very kind to understand. Kinder than I would be under the circumstances. We still have a great deal of work ahead of us. The years of silence were not easy. I don't doubt it was hard on you. But I knew you'd come out the stronger for it. We have the chance to know each other now. Thanks entirely to you. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Um, how do you plan to mend relations from here? On Minnie's terms. Whatever they may be. I've made enough decisions for her, I think. Well... There's no need to dwell on the past anymore. We're in the thick of it together, now that we're partners. Partners? Huh. I suppose we are. And family, I suppose. <laughs> this isn't at all playing out the way I imagined it. And for the first time, I'm glad. Attack, I've, almo I've almost had it, was not an option, correct? I've... What if it was, though? Um... No, but I fucking wish. You two have grown a lot in a short time. Part of me will always miss the cold, vindictive many Ambrose. Life was so much simpler when I felt cheated by it. I'm glad to have you as my daughter, Minnie, but I'm proud to call you my partner. But I fear things will only get harder from here. Fuck. <sighs> You're only here because you believe it's possible, so hold on to that feeling. I've found that feelings are fleeting, Captain. Fuck off. I believe in the work. And I Attack, I've, ha I've about had it. That will be enough for me. You've earned this, Captain. For recovering Mother's journal. 5,000 bits? Talking in the same room together. 
and for exceeding my expectations. Oh, Maybe here's a new one. I have no use for bits and bobbles. Go to bed cast used now, slash add permitted work. term, you Take little dumbass have. bitch. The road to a marauder cure will be a long one, and the board will surely fight us every step of the way. But this partnership, it's a damn good start. Will you put the burden of the colony aside for just one moment? Give me a day with my mother before we get back to work. For you, I will try. All right, uh, that's it. We're done here. And also, as we can see, the level cap was now 36. Yep, level cap's 36. All right, well, that is the Peril on Gorgon. Um, what else did we get? Did we get handed anything else? Because I was looking at chat when that ca dialogue kept going. I felt like we got handed something else. I don't know. I, honestly, I might look back at the VOD to see what we were looking at. Um... Anyway, so, thanks everyone for tuning in. We're gonna head back to the ship for now. Actually, we could just go ahead and hit, uh, this will be the next one, right? So, for the next uh, DLC is Murder on Arenados. Arenados. Eridanos. Eridanos, I think. Aeth uh, Ada has a new Aetherwave drama ready to watch. Ada has the latest uh, Halcyon Helen Aetherwave ready to watch. Speak with her when you're ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy a show. So that's what we're going to do next stream. Um, you might as well go ahead and get that DLC out of the way too. So we're going to start on that next time. This unit is under construction. Thank you for your patience. Screen cap. Nice and easy. So, yeah, that's the end of that DLC. That was the uh, Peril on Gorgon. And then, this is also the only other DLC. I am kind of bothered that the level cap is stuck at 36 of all numbers. But whatever. So, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um... When are we going to resume this? Uh, I don't recall anything else. We made a verbal reaction to 5,000 bits. It was after that, but I can't remember anyway. Um, so, uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, is going to be Monster Hunter night. And then Saturday and Sunday is going to be Rave. Pop's going to be live on Monday. And then I'll be back on Tuesday to start that next DLC. And then Cal on Wednesday, so... That's the plan. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and until next time, go to bed.